Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel where we talk all things health and wellness. Today we're diving into a topic that affects so many of us, and that's breast cancer. But instead of just discussing the statistics and the scary parts, we're going to focus on the positive and talk about the different treatment options available. 1. Surgery. Surgery is one of the most common treatments for breast cancer. This can include a lumpectomy, which removes the tumor and a small amount of surrounding tissue, or a mastectomy, which removes the entire breast. Depending on the stage of the cancer, lymph nodes may also be removed during surgery. This procedure is often done in combination with radiation therapy to reduce the risk of recurrence. 2. Radiation Therapy This treatment uses high-energy beams, such as X-rays, to kill cancer cells. It's often used after surgery to kill any remaining cancer cells. The radiation is targeted to the affected area and typically given in short daily sessions over several weeks. Side effects can include fatigue, skin irritation, and changes in the breast tissue. 3. Chemotherapy This treatment uses drugs to kill cancer cells. It can be administered orally or through and for. Chemotherapy is often used in combination with other treatments, such as surgery or radiation therapy. The drugs travel through the bloodstream to reach cancer cells throughout the body. The side effects can include hair loss, nausea, and an increased risk of infection. 4. Hormone Therapy This treatment blocks the hormones that fuel the growth of certain types of breast cancer. Hormone therapy can be administered through pills, injections, or in the form of a patch. This treatment is typically used for hormone receptor-positive breast cancer. Common side effects include hot flashes, vaginal dryness, and an increased risk of bone fractures. 5. Targeted Therapy This treatment targets specific genes or proteins that are involved in the growth of cancer cells. It can be administered in the form of pills or intravenous infusions. Targeted therapy is often used in combination with other treatments such as chemotherapy or hormone therapy. Side effects vary depending on the specific drug used. 6. Immunotherapy This treatment helps the immune system fight cancer cells. It can be administered in the form of pills or intravenous infusions. This treatment is typically used in combination with other treatments such as chemotherapy or radiation therapy. Common side effects include fatigue, nausea, and an increased risk of infection. 7. Stem Cell Transplant This treatment uses stem cells to replace the cells that were killed during chemotherapy. Stem cells can be harvested from the patient's own bone marrow or from a donor. This procedure is typically used for patients with advanced breast cancer or for those who have not responded to other treatments. 8. Clinical Trials Participating in a clinical trial can give patients access to new and experimental treatments. Clinical trials are research studies that evaluate the safety and effectiveness of new drugs and treatments. They are an important option for patients who have exhausted other treatment options. 9. Herbal Supplements Some patients use herbal supplements to supplement their treatment. These can include supplements such as turmeric, curcumin, and ashwagandha, which may have anti-inflammatory properties. However, it is important to note that herbal supplements can interact with other medications and should be used with caution. 10. Acupuncture Acupuncture is a traditional Chinese medicine technique that involves the insertion of thin needles into specific points on the body. It is believed to help regulate the body's energy flow and improve overall well-being. This treatment is often used to alleviate side effects of chemotherapy and radiation therapy, such as nausea and fatigue. 11. Yoga 
Some studies have found that yoga can help reduce stress and improve quality of life for breast cancer patients. Yoga can help improve physical function, reduce fatigue and anxiety, and help with sleep. 12. Massage Therapy Massage therapy can help alleviate stress, anxiety, and pain. It can also improve circulation and reduce muscle tension. Massage therapy can also help alleviate side effects of treatment such as lymphedema, which is a condition that can occur as a result of surgery or radiation therapy, causing swelling in the arm or hand. 13. Nutrition. Eating a healthy diet and maintaining a healthy weight can help reduce the risk of breast cancer. It is recommended to eat a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, while limiting processed foods, sugary drinks, and saturated fats. It's also important to maintain a healthy weight, as being overweight or obese can increase the risk of breast cancer. 14. Support Groups Joining a support group can provide emotional support and a sense of community for breast cancer patients. Support groups can be a valuable resource for patients to share information and advice, and to connect with others going through similar experiences. 15. Mindfulness Mindfulness practices, such as meditation, can help reduce stress and improve overall well-being. Mindfulness can help patients focus on the present moment, rather than dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. This can help reduce anxiety and improve mental and emotional well-being. It's important to remember that treatment options for breast cancer can vary depending on the stage of the cancer, patient's overall health, and personal preferences. It's crucial to work closely with your healthcare team to determine the best treatment plan for you. With the right care and support, we can beat this disease. Thanks for tuning in and as always, take care of yourself.